So you're about to buy some protein powder, but you don't know which one to pick or which one's worth your money. This video is for you. Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Blaine and we're gonna go through protein powders that you can pick and you know that are gonna be good so you're not wasting your money and wasting your time trying to pick the right one because there is thousands online. So my goal in this video is to save you time and money on not wasting it on the wrong protein powders. If you're brand new to the YouTube channel, welcome. Here we help beginners who have no idea what to do, how to train or what to eat, turn them into a beginner, into a winner by getting the fastest results possible and actually achieving their fitness goals. So if this sounds like you, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. So I'm going to split this video into four points. Number one is good protein powders. Number two is bad protein powders. And number three, if you have any allergies, what one you can pick. And then the last point, but certainly not least, two huge tips on how to avoid making big mistakes, even if it is a good protein powder. So make sure you stick to the end of this video so you don't miss out. So number one, good protein powders to pick. I've split this into three points. Number one, short ingredients list. Number two is 20 grams plus protein per scoop. And number three, 90% protein or whey protein in that protein powder. So what does this all mean? So number one, the short ingredients list. So you know a protein powder is good if there's not a lot of ingredients in there. So I've got two protein bags for examples here right in front of me. So this is one of my favorites, is my bulk powders chocolate whey isolate protein powder. The ingredients, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients in this bag. That is really good for a protein powder. And we're looking for whey, whey protein. Whey is the best quality protein you can get as close to eating, say, a chicken breast. So number two is 20 grams of protein per scoop. So some proteins out there don't have that much in there, but this bag here, the one that I will recommend in this video, before you go clicking in the link below and buying any, please watch this all the way through. You won't miss any of the other points that are just as important as the ones I'm making already. The amount of protein per scoop in this one is 26.12 grams, which is good. It's 20 plus uh, grams of protein. And then number three is 90% protein or whey isolate protein, which is in this bag here. Because at the end of the day, to make the protein a really good, a really good quality protein, you want actually protein in it. There is some proteins out there that have loads of junk, loads of sweeteners, loads of sugars, just to fill it up. And these are called mass gainers. Stay away from them, you don't need them. Whereas this one here, um, a whey protein isolate. The reason why it's called an isolate is 90% protein in this bag. And the rest is just to make it taste nice for you. I got the chocolate flavor because I'm a chocolate kind of guy. I do have the links for different flavors down below. But like I said, wait until I say the rest of the points before you make any other mistakes. If you're enjoying these tips so far in this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. This really helps with the support on the channel and get this video out to more people thank you so much where did i put the pen okay so bad can you guess the three points if you didn't guess already the bad points are the opposite okay so big ingredients list trying to make it simple for you to pick you just need to check the, the label that is it that's very simple and then you're checking it for these three points so for bad ones they would have big ingredients list so this one has six in it the good bag six uh, sorry seven ingredients in it the bad bag so i bought this and it's full and i don't like it it's horrible um sorry phd but it's disgusting and also it's not the best protein powder in the world the amount of ingredients in this i think there's like like well one two three four five six approximately 10 hours later well over 10 in this bag okay so big oh big ingredients list that will fall under this char character here. Less than 20 grams per scoop. So let's see how much there is in this bad boy. I think there's actually more in there. 17 grams, okay? 17 grams per scoop. Platinum standard quality. <laughs> It's not. Don't listen to the bag. They're obviously going to say their protein's good. Check the ingredients list. That's what's important. And then number three is 70% protein in the bag. So this one had 90% bulk powders, good protein, good quality protein for the price. This one has... Tell, it tells you there's a blend, but it's like, it says 80% casein, which is um, slower spreads the energy slow so the, the casein is normally good for going to bed and stuff like that not saying that casein is bad but this particular protein this phd diet whey is bad for the price but yes it says it's actually got 80 percent casein however it doesn't hit these three points i would say that you need to focus on 
to make it a good protein. So that is how you easily see if it's a bad protein powder for you to use. So essentially, it's as easy as checking the label and knowing what you're looking at. Allergies. Okay, so when it comes to allergies, you do have options. So the options that I know, I'm not allergic personally, so I don't know a lot on this point, but I will uh, give you some options just so you're not stuck with nothing. So the options that you have that I know of, there probably is more, but I'm gonna give, give you at least one, of course, is called pea protein. Okay, you can type this on Google or Amazon. It will give you a choice, say, that's allergy friendly. And this normally accompany, is accompanied with rice protein, just because together they make enough protein for you. It's not the same amount of protein as in um, what we just discussed. But that is an option you can do. You can search on Google or Amazon or wherever you would, you would normally buy your protein to. I normally buy mine on Amazon. That's where the links are down below for the bulk powders choice. But yes, pea protein and rice protein this is a good option for you if you have a lot of allergies. And the last points, the two huge tips, mushroom tips, okay? Number one and number two. Even if you watch this whole video and you didn't watch this part, you could still make countless mistakes. And you can just cut them all out with these two huge tips I'm gonna share with you now that I've learned over the years. So number one, is the flavors. I don't know if you've noticed, if you've seen them already, or if you're, you've, you've been looking and browsing, there is thousands of flavors. There's weird ones out there like Rocky Road, Strawberry Cheesecake, Strawberry Delight, whatever. There's plenty of them out there and they sound lovely, okay? I'm not, say, I'm, I'm not bashing them at all. The flavors sound lush. Problem is, they get sickly very fast. With protein powders, it's good to have it a backup whenever, wherever, and you don't wanna get sick of them. Trust me on this, they get sickly very fast. The tip that I will share with you is stick to the easy and simple flavors. Banana, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. These main flavors are the ones that won't get sickly very fast. The shakes are still nice by themselves. It goes so much better with, say, smoothies, and it's just so much more applicable across. If you wanna put in your breakfast, it's easy to have that with them flavors. Those crazy ass flavors, they don't all go that well with different stuff. And the second point is just as important is the amount of protein you buy. I'm gonna tell you straight up right now, I could say this is the best protein in the world. You might not like that bag of protein. The amount you buy on the first bag you buy this, buy the small bag first. You might not like bulk powders. Different protein powders break down or mix up in different ways. They are water some are quite quite thick and clumpy it comes down to your preference at the end of the day this one is kind of in the me middle it's not thick and it breaks down really well so it's like a almost like a milkshake so if you click the link below it takes you to the minimal amount you can buy so if you don't like that you didn't waste too much money amount of times I've bought some massive bags of all those big tubs and I didn't even like the protein. I wasted so much money doing that. That's a huge tip. Always buy the smallest bag and then make sure you like the flavor and then go crazy. So that is it. I really hope this video helped you out and you now know going online or hitting the links below, you know what you're buying and if it's a good protein or not. I have the links below that share the flavors, those four flavors, the strawberry, chocolate, banana, and uh, vanilla. The main ones, they're all in the link below. Click them. If you want to try the bulk powders, highly recommend this you know what i might even do a giveaway for this one on um when i get to 100 subscribers comment below if you think that's a good idea and if you want me to send this bad boy to you i feel like i need to say i mean we've hit 90 subscribers right now okay we're 10 subscribers away from 100 which your support has been amazing one month ago i had no subscribers not one person you're giving so much support back to me i want to give it back to you because these videos are made for you guys with that being said thank you again i'll see you in the next video the only question i have left for you is when is your day one